Hello again. Uh, yeah, this, I don't know whether you remember this pipe. It's uh, the bent egg I bought, um, made by Astley's. Um, well, made for Astley's by somebody who I don't know, because it was made in 1910, a hundred years ago. Now, the problem with that pipe was that the thread, it screwed into the... Um, tenon had a screw tenon and the screw itself was made of bone as many of them were and um, basically it was very old and it began to get a little bit wonky after a few smokes so I took the pipe to Clive at White's in Southampton a fantastic tobacconist if you live in this locality it's worth a trip um, and he sent it off to Dr. Pipe. <laughs> I don't know who this chap is. Apparently he's making bespoke pipes now as well. Uh, he lives on a houseboat in the Midlands somewhere. Uh, that's all I could manage to get out of Clive. And uh, what he's done is he's um, keeping the original, uh, the original stem. He's uh, drilled out the um, bone uh, tenon. And replaced it with a more traditional one, and then he um, bored out the, I don't know, you call it the tenon hole, <laughs> and uh, the pipe, a hundred-year-old pipe, as good as new. So wonderful job by that chap. So there we go. I thought I'd just show you that. Just a quick one. There's the uh, pipe back together again, and as you can see, the hundred-year-old ebonite stem still bearing the crisp. A of Astley's Pipe Company. Yeah, absolute beauty. Hi folks, um, I'm just filming a package that arrived this morning. I don't do box openings because being a unidexter, I'd make a right fool of myself uh, because uh, obviously with one hand, only one hand, it's quite difficult to open things up. Uh, this is a package I received from Germany today from Mr. Pipe Rest, and I cannot tell you how uh, touched I am by the generosity here. Let's just go through them. A couple of tins of three nuns. You used to be able to get this in the UK. You can't anymore. They only sell the pouches, which uh, are okay, but I can't wait to try those. Some Solent mixture by McBaron. Um, that's interesting because I live in Southampton and the strip of water between uh, where I live and the Isle of Wight uh, and that goes down the coast to Portsmouth as well and that, that strip of water is called the Solent so I'm uh, looking forward to having a smoke of that. Uh, now I think that is uh, pronounced Onur, uh, I can't be sure. <laughs> Pipe tobacco, I've never seen that before so I'm looking forward to that as well. And then we've got um, Bill Bailey's Balkan Blend. I love uh, Balkans. Um, yeah, and a selection of samples from 20, 40, 45, 65, and uh, 68. Good year. I was born in 1968. And finally, some uh, uh, Warrior Plug, which I've never tried. I love plug tobaccos and ropes and so on, so I'm uh, really looking forward to trying those. So what a lovely haul. I will... Uh, shortly smoke some or one of them and uh, give a little review but there we go what a haul thank you ever so much hello hello as you would have, will see or would have seen depends how the editing goes uh, Mr. Pipe Rest, God bless him, sent me a fantastic uh, array of tobacco today and uh, I am uh, very touched by that and um, yeah, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again because I think it's uh, something worthwhile saying. Uh, uh, one of the um, pleasant things about being part of the pipe community on YouTube is the 
generosity of people, whether it be in uh, making kind remarks about one's videos, whether it be um, exchanging tobaccos or simply giving people uh, a gift of tobacco or a pipe or whatever. But um, there is a generosity of spirit uh, in our band of folk that it is um, very moving and um, sadly I fear something which is not necessarily found in the wider world but uh, it is a uh, pleasant surprise and uh, I'm very happy and glad to be part of that. Yes yeah, so I'm smoking a pipe uh, full of this is my P grade uh, extra large James Upshaw Umpal or Hungarian depending on how you like what you like to call it I guess I suppose I should call it Hungarian but uh, uh, the good chaps at uh, James Upshaw call it Umpal so they wouldn't you know well whatever anyway um, I'm smoking The Solent mixture, which is a McBaron tobacco, it's a ribbon cut. It's made with Virginia's, Cavendish, and Syrian Latakia. I just I had to make a note of this on my computer, so I'd forget it. Um, and uh, I have to say, it is a very, very nice tobacco. Um, I'm beginning. After so many years of smoking pipes. Um, when I first started smoking a pipe, I uh, was one of those people that I, my grandfather was the same, and I guess that's where I got the lead from, that I picked a blend of tobacco which I smoked, and that was all I smoked all the time. I didn't vary that at all. And it was only really um, coming into contact with YouTube um, two or three, three years ago. Yeah, it must, it must be about three years ago uh, that I um, started to try different things, which of course in, its, uh, in, in itself got me down the road of buying lots of different pipes because I thought, well, I must have a pipe. You, you know, you can't smoke Latakia blends one day in, in, the, in your pipe and then, uh, you know, smoke an aromatic or a Virginia way because it's just, you know, you're going to have the ghost of tobacco's past uh, haunting the pipe so you ha and of course as you would have seen from my recent video about my pipe collection uh, that may have gone to uh, an excess and now I've got so many pipes that it's difficult to decide what to smoke in them and that's the problem <laughs> so anyway um, so I'm beginning now to be able to tell the difference between Syrian and uh, Cypriot or Cyprus Latakia. Um, I, I guess I think the uh, Syrian Latakia is uh, a, a more um, more fruit cake, smoky fruit cake than uh, the Cypriot version. That's my. I, I'm not a great poet when it comes to describing tobaccos, uh, not at all. Um, I'm more of a um, graffiti artist when it comes to uh, describing Latakia. Uh, and other tobaccos, uh, the um, legend uh, Kilroy was here, as opposed to the uh, fine couplings or couplets of uh, John Dunn, let's say. So um, yeah, so I uh, yeah, so I'm not I'm not greatly uh, not very good at describing uh, things, but I would, as I say, Cypriot Latakia, a uh, Syrian Latakia, to me, is a smoky fruit cake. Um, and solar mixture. The thing I was very pleased about this morning when I got the uh, the um, the package. Firstly, was just how extraordinary the, the number of tobaccos that have been sent to me. I was not expecting that, and it was a great surprise. And also that this one is called solar mixture. Now, as I say when I'm, I videoed earlier, the tobacco is all laid out. Um, the, the Solent is the strip of water between the Isle of Wight and the south coast. So kind of going from Emsworth, that sort of direction, which is towards Portsmouth, uh, and up 
to Southampton and a little way on to perhaps uh, New Milton and places like that, which is uh, or Christchurch even, which uh, is, is the strip of water. It's a strip of water. It's known as the Solent. So this is very pleasant to be smoking a tobacco uh, that uh, it has some kind of connection with where I live. <laughs> I um, yeah, and I would say it's a very nice. Um, I'm generally speaking I haven't smoked very many um, uh, of McBaron's uh, blends because I'm not a um, aromatic smoker I uh, you know uh, I don't really in fact I don't smoke aromatic at all I like the odd Danish mixture a mild aromatic which is quite pleasant and I like Erin more which I guess is an aromatic but uh, I don't smoke them very often and so I don't really, uh, haven't really smoked that many McBaron's uh, blends. Uh, I've smoked the old uh, Navy Flake, which is very nice. Uh, and uh, this is, I think, probably the second McBaron blend I've ever smoked. And I have to say, I'm impressed. And uh, perhaps I'll give you an update after I've smoked a few more bowls. But my first impression, I'll tell you what it actually reminds me of a little, is... Um, uh, Ashton's Artisans blend and Dunhill Nightcap it's got that same kind of earthy fruity quality, smoky fruit cake quality that those two have and I'm looking forward to hopefully trying Dunhill Nightcap again very soon as it's coming back so anyway I'm gonna I'm just gonna say how happy I am to be part of this community and uh and as I say, whether it's the gift of a kind word and remark on one's videos and an interest in what one has to say, or whether it's giving people something, there is a, a certain um, generosity of spirit amongst the people that are uh, part of this. Uh, I'm glad to say that uh, recently some young oik uh, started making some very unpleasant uh, remarks and chasing poor old uh, Salam around uh, with his stupidity and how very quickly people rallied round about that and uh, again that again shows the generosity of spirit of people that people are interested and in, uh, genuinely interested in, in you and uh, what's happening to you so anyway preparing for the weekend uh, not much on really uh, so I will bid you at a, a good uh, Good night as it is nearly evening here and uh, hope you have a very good weekend. Cheers to you all.